Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. Pete Pardo here from Sea of Tranquility. Welcome to another edition of Ranking the Albums. Today we're going to take a look at the discography of Swedish hard rock slash heavy metal band Europe. Now, hold the presses. Stop right there. I'm sure some of you are thinking, God, this Pardo guy, why is he talking about this crappy band Europe? All they ever did was that stupid song, Final Countdown, right? And they had that crappy ballad, Carrie. I never want to hear Europe again. Boy, they were awful. Well, you know what? Hold on a second. If you are someone who that's what you're thinking, then you need to take that whole thought and throw it out the window. Uh, I have been for years promoting the greatness of this band and i think that unfortunately especially here in the u.s so many people just remember that album and those maybe that song or two and they think that that's indicative of everything this band has ever done and the the truth of the matter is it's absolutely not okay europe are an excellent hard rock heavy metal band their first two albums back in the early 80s are perfect examples of kind of like new wave of british heavy metal style heavy rock or metal, right? Blistering guitars, a lot of almost like speed metal-ish tunes, right? Great vocals. They had the one big hit album that was perfectly tailored for mass success, and it did a lot of business, right? Uh, and then he released a couple albums after that. They were kind of fell along a similar pattern, but then, you know, they kind of went a little dormant for a while, not releasing stuff, and they have been back putting out fantastic heavy albums in the spirit of bands like Deep Purple, Uriah Heep, Led Zeppelin, Black Sabbath, UFO, and Thin Lizzy. If you like any of those bands, you really need to give Europe a shot, okay? Forget the final countdown. We've all heard it way too many times, and I get it, but that is not what this band is all about. Okay, they had that one huge hit, worldwide success. It was rammed down, everyone, rammed down everyone's throat for years, all right? Forget it. Just take that tune, cross it off your mind, and be open to the music of this wonderful band. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rank their studio albums, okay? I'm going to go from my least favorite all the way to my favorite. You know, they got a couple <clears throat> that I'm not completely into, but are decent and then they've got a lot that are just really really spectacular so i'm going to start off with their uh, 1991 album at the bottom called prisoners in paradise this was the last album guitarist key marcello appeared on okay key actually replaced founding guitar player john norum okay who left after the final countdown album imagine that leaving after a huge album like that probably because he didn't like the direction the band was going right so this uh from 1991 this is kind of like europe doing their like def leppard thing around the same time so this is like kind of got the big hysteria uh choruses and you know booming drums and just really overproduced to the max not that there aren't some good songs on here because there are but i just find that for me this is my least favorite europe album it just really took them away from the core sound of the which you know they originally were known for and would show again like later in their career all right next up i'm gonna go to secret society okay this was released in uh 2006 so this was you know after the band kind of went away for a while all right didn't release any albums for you know a little over a decade uh kind of came back here with this album all right well they had one more before it star from the dark but uh i you know i never really took to this album to me this album sounds more like uh europe trying to do uh like a, an alice in chain style grunge album and while i got no issue with alice in chains i actually like alice in chains uh I just don't think that that's, that's Europe's thing. I know they were trying to kind of fit into the, you know, I mean, again, early 2000s, grunge kind of already kind of came and went. Um, but, you know, it's a kind of darker sounding album. It's a very riffy album, but just kind of generic to me anyway. Uh, not a terrible album. I just don't find this album awfully interesting. Okay. However, the one that came out before from 2004, Star from the Dark, uh, actually much more successful, I think. Okay, some heavy riffs on here. It's kind of doomy in spots. You know, uh, Got to Have Faith is a great tune. Star from the Dark title track is really good. Uh, I also like Hero, um, Roll, Roll With You. Some actually strong tunes on here. Again, kind of Alice in Chaney. It's, like, it's almost like they were, you know... Anyway, a couple years too late trying to fit into the whole grunge scene but uh not a bad album i think better than the secret society album in my opinion 
All right, next up, I'm going to go... You know, I was really into this album when it came out. Uh, I have found in recent years that it has not really aged all that well. I'm talking about the big album, The Final Countdown. I know a lot of you here in the U.S. are probably thinking, that is not the uh, cover that I remember. Yeah, I don't... <laughs> I, exactly. I bought this in one of these... Uh, came in one of these cool little box sets, right? So this may be the uh, European album cover. I don't know. I think the other album cover is so much better. But anyway, uh, you know, this obviously coming from the album that came before, which we're going to talk about later, um, this was a drastic departure and clearly aimed at more commercial waters. You know, you got, of course, the title track, which everybody knows, some people loathe. Uh, Rock the Night's pretty good rocker, you know, Carrie. Um, I'm not a big fan of Carrie. Uh, Danger on the Track, good rocker, right? Ninja, Ninja's a cool tune. Uh, Cherokee I always liked uh, you got Time Has Come Heart of Stone is good On the Loose and Love Chaser I think some strong material uh, missing the heaviness of the uh, first two albums for me and I think this album is very kind of polished and bright and shiny and while at the time I was like yeah this is pretty cool you know coming back I'm like yeah the, the tunes are good they're memorable it's missing a little heft it's you know pretty well produced I'm just finding I'm not digging this quite as much as I used to. But it's still a very solid album, I think. As is the one that came after it, okay? Out of this world. Uh, so here we got 1988 here. So, of course, John Norum, lead guitar player, gone. Key Marcello in his place alongside Joey Tempest and company. Joey, of course, on the vocals. A very fine singer, I might add. Always liked him. I, I actually think this is a little bit more, again, at the time I didn't think so. But looking back all these years later, I actually enjoy this album a little bit more than the final countdown. Uh, it's got the great tune Superstitious, which I think was a, a fairly, fairly uh, good hit for them. Uh, what else? Jesus, you know, I, I'm, ter I'm always terrible with song titles. Uh, Open Your Heart, okay, is a remake of a song from their second album. Very good. Uh, Let the Good Times Rock, I think, is really good. Um, Coast to Coast is cool. Ready or Not is a good hard rocker. Sign of the Times, uh, you know. It's a pretty cool, it's a rockin' album. All right, I think it's heavier than Final Countdown. I, I, I dig it. All right, next up, I'm going to go with their self-titled debut. Going all the way back to, what was this, 1983 or so. As a four-piece, uh, very young band, but cranking out the metal. Again, if you love the old new wave of British heavy metal stuff, this is really good. Uh, and the future to come is killer. Uh, Seven Doors Hotel, The King Will Return. Uh, you got Children of, of This Time, Words of Wisdom. I think a very strong album. Again, you know, the band kind of still trying to figure out things, but as a good heavy metal album from the early 80s from a young band from Sweden, uh, I think this holds up pretty well. And it's pretty damn rocking. Okay. All right. All the next for me are the absolute cream of the Europe crop. And you're going to see the next four especially uh, are their four most, most recent. And I think stack up with the best that the band has ever done. So the next four are the ones I really want everybody to concentrate on because those are the, probably the ones that the mo most people have not heard. And they are actually the last four that they've released. And you're going to notice they're going to go in order of succession of release. So uh, next up, I'm going to go with 2000, 2009's Last Look at Eden. A really heavy, well-produced album of great, memorable songs. They're melodic. They're heavy. Lots of great guitar playing and riffs. Fantastic vocals. I mean, you got uh, the title track is great. Gonna Get Ready. Uh, the Beast. Only Young Twice. You Devil You. A very strong album. Norm back in the band and kicking ass on guitar. I like this a lot. I think most people will dig that. All right, even more so, Bag of Bones, okay? Came out a couple years later, 2012. Uh, more of the same, but even better. All right, Firebox, title track, My Woman, My Friend, Demon Head, for crying out loud. Cool cover, great music, heavy, heavy rock. Like I said, in if you love classic Zeppelin, Purple, Sabbath, UFO, Thin Lizzy, Uriah Heap, that sort of thing. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, check this stuff out, including this one. All right, the next in line, War of Kings coming in at number three. Heavy, doomy, 
All right, lots of Hammond organ and guitar. I keep referencing that Deep Purple thing, right? Or early Rainbow as well. Title track, War of Kings, one of my favorite songs by them. All right, Hole in My Pocket, California 405, Children of the Mind, Rainbow Bridge, just um, tasty, tasty stuff. So, fun. I mean, if you listen to this and you're like, God, this is the band that did the final countdown? No way, Pardo. Yes, way. I'm telling you. Coming in at number two, their most recent album from 2017, Walk the Earth. You know, if it wasn't for the album that uh, is going to be my number one, this would be my number one. This is such a strong record. The title track kills. Kingdom United kills. Guitar and Hammond organ, people. Right? If you love, like, kind of like that mystical Zeppelin stuff, right? You know, like, think like cashmere and, you know, physical graffiti, that time period. Man, you're going to love this. Pictures, Election Day, so heavy. UFO meets Deep Purple. Wolves, Snarling. GTO, another real purple style rocker haze another great song just amazing amazing stuff on here and it's there's you know no bubblegum metal from the 80s anywhere in sight the vocals are outstanding the harmonies are killer but it's just dark and heavy and atmospheric stuff just love it some do some of the doomy vibes will remind you of like you know early 70s sabbath great uh but my number one album uh, I still to this day I think it's their best album it, just because it was just a young band who finally figured it out before I think you know <laughs> record labels wanted to kind of drive them down a different kind of channel uh, we're going to go Wings of Tomorrow their second album all the way back from uh, God when did this come out 1984 85 something like that uh, just fantastic you know you got the, the ripping ripping guitar work from John Norum on here which you know with this album in my mind he instantly became a guitar hero uh, one of those young guys that just like kind of blew you away with this kind of like you know Gary Moore-ish style meets my Gary Moore meets Michael Schenker um, so he's big Shanker fan uh storm when this great uh scream of anger just and then some of these songs are speedy they're snarling they're heavy okay uh you got open your heart makes its first appearance here killer song uh god so many great songs on here it's just a uh, rip roaring fantastic album of melodic heavy metal with plenty of guitar shenanigans, all right? Uh, you know, man, Dreamer, Dance the Night Away, uh, a really, really cool instrumental called Aphasia, all right? Which if you doubt at all John Norum's prowess on the guitar, you need to listen to that. Uh, Treated Bad again, you know, of course the title track, Wings of Tomorrow, is a classic song. Uh, Waste in Time is also killer. It's just um, fantastic stuff. Love the album cover art too. God, I love that. So that's my favorite. That's going to be my number one. So let me kind of recap here. Starting at number one, we're going to work our way back. Wings of Tomorrow, my favorite album from Europe. Number two, we got the wonderful Walk the Earth. Number three, we're going to go with War of Kings. Number four, we're going to go Bag of Bones. Number five, Last Look at Eden. Number six, self-titled Europe. Number seven, Out of This World. Number eight, The Final Countdown. Number nine, we're going to go with Start from the Dark. Number 10, Secret Society. And coming in at number 11, Prisoners in Paradise. There you have it, folks. Europe, ranking the studio albums. So again, the moral of this whole story today is... For all of you, and I know there's going to be hundreds of you, if not more, who are going to be like, I never listened to this band because I couldn't stand that fucking song, right? Well, now's the time to go and investigate and see what you've missed because, like I said, a treasure trove of great albums and great songs from this band that have nothing to do with the final countdown. Trust me on this. Trust me on this, people. I can't tell you how many folks over the last like kind of year or two since I've been really spouting on about this band have gone and listened to some of these these more recent albums. I'm like, Pete, you were absolutely right. Holy cow, that's great. I'm telling you, give it a shot. Give it a shot. You got nothing to lose. It's free. Go on YouTube, listen to the albums. It's free, all right? All it's going to take is a little bit of time, right? So uh, if you are a Europe fan, curious to see how you rank the albums, okay, that's what this is all about. Uh, 
in the end, right? It's like it's uh, these are just this is just the way I rank them. But everybody hears these albums differently. Everybody loves or hates them. You know, hopefully you don't hate them, but uh, loves or maybe dislikes different ones, right? And that's the way it should be because we all have different sets of ears. Our brains all function differently. So I would expect everybody to have different uh, rankings, different preferences, and all that kind of stuff. That's what makes us human, after all, right? So uh, put them in the comments and feedback below. And I don't want to see any comments about oh this band sucks. Bloop. Come on, that doesn't, that's negative energy, people, all right, negative energy. So uh, anyway, this is on the web at www.catranquility.org. We're on Facebook, we're on Twitter, of course, we're here on the Mighty YouTube all the damn time. What do we got coming up? I'm hoping tomorrow, if not tomorrow, Wednesday, Alice Cooper ranking the studio albums, all right? That's what's coming up next. Uh, we got so many more after that, so I know we've got a lot of people requesting stuff, and my list is already quite long, so... Uh, you know, for those of you who are like waiting patiently for specific stuff, just remember I try to fit these in when I can. So, uh, you know, just everybody sit back, take a chill, be patient. I'll get to as many of them as I can, right? So, uh, and like I said, I'm not I'm not going to do rank, rank studio albums for bands that I'm not overly familiar with or that I don't like or that I don't have a good majority, if not most of the discography. So that's the way it goes. I know a lot of people are asking for all sorts of stuff, and it's like you know, if I only got an album or two or three, and they've got ten, well, that's probably not going to happen. Or if uh, it's a band that I'm kind of okay with but only have a greatest hits collection, I'm not going to do that either, right? So, uh, but I, you know, I try to read the comments when I can, and I try to tell folks kind of what the deal is right when i'm able to so anyway guys we'll see you hopefully tomorrow if not tomorrow wednesday with another edition of ranking the studio albums uh more stuff coming up i got some new product shows uh the what's hot with sea tranquility i'm just trying to get man i've been so busy i'm just trying to get through some of these new releases that have come out so uh we'll try to squeeze them in when we can so uh, we'll see you guys later on take care bye-bye <laughs>